Hey everyone, long time no upload. I could say that I've been busy, but that would only be partly true. I've also been incredibly lazy. Now considering how popular the How Big Is Gondor's Army video has become, I thought that I could do an easy follow-up. How big is Rohan's army? Why is this easy? Because with the Gondor video, a lot of the army sizes were guesstimations that required a lot of research, whereas Rohan's army size comes straight from the text. So how big is Rohan's army? 12,000. End video. But no, I can't let it be that simple. Unlike Gondor, Tolkien gives Rohan plenty of description in the military department, including a few terms that denote company sizes. The first of these terms is an Aored, a term that appears in Tolkien's writing a few times, most notably in the Two Towers. An Aored is a company of riders that numbers 120 men, led by a captain or a marshal in the king's service. King Feoden himself commanded an Aored known as the king's company, as did other Rohirrim such as El Aomer and Elvhelm. The second term which is less used is an Aohair, a term which describes an army of Rohirrim. We don't know exactly what the number of Aohairs is required to make an Aohair, but what we learned from the Unfinished Tales is that a full Aohair in Feoden's time is supposed to be made up of 100 Aohairs. Basic maths says that 100 Aohairs is 12,000 men. 12,000 men is the army of Rohirrim that Feoden could have marshaled. But this leads to the second part of the video. Why did the army that Feoden led to Minas Tirith only consist of 6,000 riders? What happened to the other 6,000 men? Why did they just vanish? Well, there's a few answers to this question. The first answer is that Rohan was in a state of inaction before Saruman's invasion. King Feoden was under Grima Wormtongue's influence, meaning that men like Prince Feodred and Aomer had to lead Rohan's forces instead. When Feodred was killed and Aomer was imprisoned, Rohan was essentially leaderless until Feoden was cured by Gandalf. The second and most obvious answer is that Rohan had already fought several battles before riding to Minas Tirith. Two battles were fought at the Fords of Isen, which involved at least 2,000 Rohirrim, possibly more. Following that, there was the burning of the Westfold and the Battle of the Hornburg, aka Helm's Deep, in which 3,000 Rohirrim fought. The minimum amount of Rohirrim that fought in these battles would have been 4,000, as 1,000 of the Rohirrim at Helm's Deep were survivors from the Fords of Isen. If the Rohirrim at the Fords received reinforcements from Urkenbrand before the Second Battle, then there could have been as many as 5,000 Rohirrim fighting at these battles. The high estimate of deaths would be 3,500, whereas the lower estimate would be around 2,000. The third answer is that Feoden only had three days to muster the Rohirrim, starting on the 7th of March, and riding for Gondor on the 10th. During that time, messages would have had to ride to all corners of Rohan, possibly to places that would not be able to send aid within three days' time. Considering Feoden had to make haste to Gondor, he could not have spent extra days waiting for forces to pour in from every place in Rohan. And the final answer is that Feoden likely intended on leaving some defenders behind. Between casualties from the War of Saruman, the speed in which Feoden had to set forth, and leaving some defenders behind, it makes it sense as to why Feoden only set forth with 6,000 riders. It is possible he could have set forth with 10,000 riders had he waited a few days more, but in that time, Minas Tirith would have fallen and the war would have effectively been lost. Anyway, thank you for watching. I know this is a short video, but unfortunately with the Rohan army size, it's kind of just there in the text. I can't really ramble on a bunch of bullshit that may or may not be true. If you'd like me to give estimates of other army sizes, please let me know. It gets a bit harder beyond Rohan and Gondor, but I'd be willing to give anything a go when it comes to Middle-earth. I plan on uploading a bit more, but I can't make any promises, and a wizard uploads precisely when he means to, blah blah blah. This is Darth Gandalf, thank you for watching, and farewell.